Madden 25 first look gameplay. We've got Henry versus Mike Parsons. Going to be breaking this down for you guys. Uh, looks like I think probably Henry is using the Chiefs. Parsons rocking with the boys. Really interesting to see kind of how this plays out. Let me see if I can turn off this uh, subtitles. I don't care for those. Um, okay, so what I want to talk about in terms of Madden 25, first and foremost, if you have been following the channel since we've started dropping College Football 25 content, we are going to continue dropping College 25 College Football 25 content, offensive, defensive ebooks on our school community, as well as tips and tricks on our College Football 25 YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link to that in the description if you want to go subscribe to that. We post on there every single day, three videos a day, just like we do for Madden on this channel. We post every single day over there. And as kind of Madden, as, as kind of Madden drops, we are going to still have our College Football 25 content over there. And then our Madden content is going to be here on this channel. So that's kind of my plan uh, in terms of content. Now, the cool part about what we're doing for College Football 25 and for Madden is you're going to be able to get access to all of our college and Madden offensive and defensive ebooks on our school site. So school is basically all one-stop shop for all football gaming. Okay, so first starting out here, I would assume Parsons is a cowboy. is going to split back. Would never. I don't know why I would ever see Henry call that this boom tech. This game actually looks a lot different than um, what I saw in the beta. I'm glad they fixed the play art. I was actually, I was actually super um, disappointed with just how the beta looked and how the beta played. I did not like Madden 25 beta, but it does look already like the game is significantly better in terms of what they're going to drop for this game. So I like that. Um, I like, let's take a look here. So let's look at this pass rush engagement. So this game is going to play a lot slower um, than college football. 25 college football. 25 is very arcadey. It's very much so like the, even just the way the game, just the way the game plays in general, it's, it's very arcadey It's very fast paced. And I think Madden is going to be more – the best word I can think of is, like, competitive or professional or polished. That's what I'm kind of expecting to be the difference between the two games. So you see here some broken tackles. I think they're probably talking about boom tech. I'm, I'm actually excited that they brought the hit stick or they made the hit stick matter. I'm also looking at these pass rush engagements and kind of looking at the speed of the game. I do think that's super interesting. And the reason why is because – so these – just seeing how they like engage on the line, that's going to affect how blitzes work because in college football 25, if you don't have the quick jump ability, you basically have maybe one or two blitzes that are effective. Whereas in Madden, hopefully you'll be able to craft some different, you know, types of defenses. And uh, that was a wicked spin move. That was actually a wicked, wicked spin move. Looks like uh, d double a gap for Parsons. I believe Dallas is probably going to be running a lot of that this year. This is the bunch nasty little flat pass to the left and uh, able to get a touchdown. I don't know what happened on that. Huh. All right, let's keep going. Oh, we're talking about the free farming. Okay, so here's RPOs. First look at RPOs. Let's take a look at this. This was obviously a big deal in college football in Madden 24. Oh, you see there, look at that RPO. Look at the zone defenders. They're standing completely still, frozen. Now, he doesn't have a hard flat, and he's able to get out of there with that RPO. Let's see if he gets seven. Who's that? Is that Cedric Wilson? I don't know who that is for the dad. No, that's Jalen Tolbert. Jalen Tolbert's number one now. Huh. The user actually looks pretty good, honestly. You see how he's running around with Parsons? The user does look pretty decent. Probably bet. I feel like they get better every single year with the user. Got a little mesh underneath. I'm looking also at man-beating routes. It does look like post routes still beat man well in routes. These... Spins and jukes are actually not bad. And I, I would assume that probably is tied to an ability Pacheco has. Showing the new juke moves, more control, more realistic feel. Man, I'm, it's always exciting, always exciting for, for Madden to drop. I think people are going to like Madden. I think, I think now that college football is out there, I think that Madden's got a little pressure on them to, to improve some things. So... Even something, even some little things like the custom audibles being able to be saved game to day, game to game. That's a big deal. It really is. Like it's, 
it's a super important aspect of like just a polished game. So what I'm hoping for, like I said, is Madden 25. I really am just hoping that the game is a very is more polished, more professional. College football 25 is fun, but college football 25 is kind of like it's very arcadey. Now here we get a look at Parsons trying to jump with his linebacker. Does it not? Does not look like he can jump. Um, there's a sin three. Notice they don't shed on a sin three, so that means you're going to need to be blitzing your user, which is going to take away the ability to switch stick. We haven't seen the switch stick feature yet. Switch stick is a is literally a game changing defensive feature. It's going to change how you call defense. It's going to change how you play defense. Is that a possession catch? Possession catches are really good on on um, on college. Showing a replay here. Okay, he is able to catch. Maybe he is able to jump. Roll out. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look what Henry just did to him. Roll out. Look how fast Mahomes got out of there. So rollouts are probably going to be good. I don't like that. I, I don't think that's good for Madden, honestly. If you want if you want a game to have, like, a rollout scheme, that's a college football. Fe like, that's not a Madden thing. You know what I mean? Like, there should be – and maybe, I, maybe I'm early to that. Uh, here we go. So the knockout – is okay so they're talking about basically timing your ko well that's kind of interesting you see that corner route was able to manipulate that quarterback fumbles that's good for the game you need to have you, you need to be forced to slide otherwise quarterbacks are too powerful that's good for the game in my opinion here we go zeke we'll see how zeke looks on this game run game looks pretty decent honestly run game looks pretty decent the blocks look pretty good and honestly, it looks like you do have like a pretty decent level of control. Trips, left, tight, tight in corner. I like that. I like that. So uh, one of the things that was happening last year a lot is that the routes would basically stop in the back of the end zone. You saw there that the tight end kept running and rounded his route to the back pylon. To me, that's a really good thing. New slide protections, eight ways to slide, including half slide, full slide. This was in college football. This is going to be really good. Uh, this is going to be a really good change, just giving you more options for picking up blitzes. Very, very good kind of quality of life change to the game. I also like this little icons here. So you see what they do is they put that little flame above their head. That means that that's a hot. Um, and here you see a switch stick. They kind of show this off. This is obviously a little staged, but they're trying to show the switch stick. So what you, you see kind of there, like the risk and reward that can come from the switch sticks. Because the switch stick for the switch stick to work, you have to fully commit to switch sticking and then jumping the route. If you don't fully commit to jumping the route upon a switch stick, you're not going to be able to stop the route. So it does look like Jukes and Spencer. I mean, the movement is it looks pretty smooth. That actually looks almost fat. Like not too. I wonder if they're speeding it up. But it, it it does look. Yeah, they're probably speeding that up. Okay, so this is a key. Uh, I did want to cover this. So right here, this is trips. So Henry, I would assume, is like I said, I think he's the Chiefs. Um, the thing I was going to say is he's probably running plays. Like he's probably just kind of running random plays for fun. Maybe they told him, you know, we're not seeing him like super lock in and sweat, right? But here he's losing, and there's nine seconds. And so he runs a coverage beater that worked last year it worked in college football and that will work in madden 25 it's a tight end corner this tight end is going to go to the corner this guy is uh, streaking to clear this middle third this is a check down read and then this crosser is going to basically be looked to be thrown between the hash and the numbers because this third is going to bite to this tight end you see that's exactly what happens great throw and there it is. Pistol bunch. Probably a speed option. Good read. And he's able to get in. Double A from Parsons. Really interesting what he's doing. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing on defense. He's not really um he's running a lot of double A, but he's not blitzing. Different catch animations. I love the play art. The play art was not good in the beta. I'm really thankful that they fixed that. New hot routes, real quick. We want to look at this real quick. So these are also in uh, College Football 25. There are new hot routes. You can now put receivers on corners, posts, slants, drags. 
The one unfortunate thing about this change is you can no longer hot route them to a zig route. Okay, you cannot put a slot on a zig, which is one of the best hot routes in the game. But you're going to need to have um, hot route master to be able to do that. But, um, you know, I still think you get a lot of bang for your buck. It's just going to open up. The good part about this change is it's going to open up more creativity on offense and more offenses will be usable because you will be able to create the routes on your own. The, I believe this was the Hot Route Master routes. So you see this is the... or No, no, I think that might be... The other thing you're going to need Hot Route Master for or Running Back Apprentice is for uh, Running Back Texas routes, which is one of the most important routes for beating man. All right, so here um, Henry just seams them up. Look at how zones play a little bit. You're seeing that you can really... At least Mahomes, Mahomes looks really good in this game. Which, honestly, I'm trying to look at this quarterback release, too. Look at Mahomes. So, for years, Mahomes has had a terrible release. Watch this throw. That was, that was super good. Look at this throw from Mahomes. Watch how fast this release is. Boom. That's huge change for regs. That pretty much settles that the Chiefs are going to be the best team in regs because Mahomes is going to have hot route master, and he's going to have the best throwing ability in the game. Or uh, not, the, not just the best throwing ability in the game, but um, the, what, it looks like he's going to have a really good release. There you see some of the new possession catch animations that I think are going to make. Oh, I actually, I'm, I'm, I really think that's a good change for them. We go Mahomes, run the ball. And I think maybe, I don't know if Henry's just trying to make this. I don't know what he's doing here. Maybe he's just trying to put him down. Show the run game a little more. McCaffrey just running. What are we looking for? Import stats. Oh, okay, here we go. We're talking about next-gen stats. And whatever. Here we go. RPO to the right. Or no. What is that? Oh, that was flood. Okay, okay, okay. So right here, coverage bomb. Not able to get the free form over the top shoulder. Henry's able to get the user pick, seeing that they do catch the picks. Here, Henry gets a safety. I don't know what he's running. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it must have been an RPO. Must have been looking for square out there. Just didn't throw it. All right, 34-28. Triangle's wide open. Great throw from Dak. I, the releases look usable. Like, look at this. That's a usable release. It's not, a, it's not as good as Mahomes. But that's a big change. Like, even just the simple thing of making velocity kims less effective, like, it just increases what you can do. This throw is insane. This is, this is insane. Look at this. Look at this. Roll out. Pium. That is... <laughs> that is an insane throw with Mahomes. That is absolutely insane throw with Mahomes. And they're chatting... Chirping. Tight end post. Fade. Good read. Okay, I think Parsons did send him. It's he's just using himself and like it's that's what you know. Like he's literally just using himself, screaming. Can't get it done. Henry just launch launches it. Going for two. Out route. Easy read. Yeah, look at these look at this release. Like these are these are really usable releases. I do like that there was no interaction there. 40-43, this high-scoring game. So it does look like, at least at this, with what we're seeing here, you can score <laughs> in this game. It's probably going to be another offensive game, high-scoring game. User catch? No, no good. No good. Couldn't get it done. And that well, in route over the middle. Good read. The juke didn't really do anything to help him, honestly. And the Cowboys got shamed by the best man player in the world. All right, second game, Cowboys-Niners. Let's see what we got here. Cowboys-Niners. Raining. Oh, that's cool. They're talking about the new commentaries. That's kind of neat. All right. 
Uh, Dow- Dallas has never had a success against the Niners, so we'll see if they can get it done here. Dude, Debo same. Look how fast he's moving. Yeah, I, I, do, I think they sped the game up a little bit. I do think they sped the game up a little bit. It's not going to be as fast as NCAA or college football, but I think they definitely spe- sped the game up. Star-driven play calls. Over 900 new plays for star players. There you go. Look at that out route. <laughs> Dude, these throw look at these throwing animations. I'm actually super pumped for this. Watch this throwing animation. Pop. I like that. You can get the ball out. That's been a big problem. Like it literally makes it so that you can only use like certain players. Having more variety is always good. Here we go. Different cover adjustments. Don't love this. This is probably my least favorite thing they did. Is these is these stupid coverage shells. I, I really don't like it. I would rather just have baseline. Here's the custom stems. Let's see that. Let's see that post route run. And it got kind of bumped up. Yeah. Yeah. The problem with the post routes is they're 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 not. So they so they. It's cool that you can now hot route post routes, but these post routes are not sharp cutting. So you have to kind of. I think you're still going to want to find you know those kind of routes. What a play call by Micah. I'm at that. All right, so here you go. What is this? Play action blocking. I don't know what we're. I don't know what we're looking at there. All right, we got pistol. Henry must be in pistol. McCaffrey's just out of there. Yeah, the run game. Run offense in general looks really good in this game. It's basically defense. I'm. I'm really curious to see the switch stick at the highest level because. College football has given us kind of a glimpse of what people what, what's possible with switch stick. Honestly, I will say, like, it has made an – it might make you, like, one big play a game, right? But I, I don't know if I'm ready to say because, – because the thing with switch stick is you have to fully commit to the switch stick. If you if – you, and then if you're wrong with your guess and they hit you over the top of the touchdown is what can happen. So we'll just have to see. Uh, we'll just have to see. I haven't seen it play as big of a factor as I was kind of convinced it was going to. And I think it's because what happens is when you switch stick onto somebody, it um, the register is like, like if you're crisp with your reads, you're quick, you're quick. I think you're going to not be as effective by switch stick as if you're like late on your reads. If you're late on your reads and you get switch stick, that's a pick. But if you're crisp on your reads, I think – you're gonna be able. You're not gonna be as impacted by switch stick. Six of seven defensive stalemate here, in the second game. Register now for the MCS season, featuring a 1.7 million dollar prize pool. That's pretty insane. And I'm I'm super jacked. They have a regs tournament. I think that's good. I don't like that the regs tournament is in um, is during the ac- early access. Like, I, I think you should start that maybe, like, on qualifying weekend or something. I don't know. You have to basically play ladders on – I want to say from what I what I read, you have to play ladders on, long, like, early access. Oh, that's a cool route. That's a cool route. Do you see what he just did there? I didn't even think about that. You could put your running back on a curl and then just stem him all the way up and turn it into, like, a, a super fast streak that just attacks the middle of the field. I don't know what we're looking at there. We're looking at the blocking. Look at this camera. No good. Rock Yasin. Niners are bagging the boys. Kind of standard. Kind of standard. Okay. Let's go third quarter. There's that flat. I do think underneath passing is going to be uh, good this year, too. Just like quick underneath passing. Because... You don't get a, uh, you're not going to get switch sticked on underneath throws. It's going to mainly like the main thing that the reason they put switch sticks in the game, if you think about it, is really to stop one play touchdowns and corner routes. And honestly, kind of seems, but I think it's really like one play touchdowns and corner routes. That's what you're trying to stop. We'll see. We'll see how it all plays out. Well timed hit will force a fumble. Dot. That was actually a good read. Look at that. See there, that would be a switch stick. Like if he sw- he tried, see he did. So he switched. I think he switch stick there, and you see how he's just a little bit behind. And that's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, Parsons lurking. 
Or is that Henry? Is Henry the Cowboys? Henry might be Cowboys. I don't know. Yeah, the switch takes the big one. Like, that's the big feature. Yeah, see what he did right there? Like that. It's like stuff like that. Double A. Yeah, I think Henry might be the Cowboys. It's 28 to 7. Yeah, he probably is. Yeah, yeah, you see the switch stick. He's trying to switch him. Yeah, the fact that Dallas is up 28 gives you control to pick what player you want. Yeah, see right there's the switch. But it's it's a super. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I guess you can block kicks. This is terrible for the game. That is terrible for the game. Is Parsons the Cowboys? He might be. Twenty-eight seven. There it is, boys. Yeah, the big thing is the hot routes for sure. The switch stick, the hot routes. You notice the. I think the huge change is the quarterback releases. Like, you can have you have more variety with your quarterback releases. Um, but in general, that's the first game or gameplay first look. Again, if you guys want to check out, um, if you guys want to check out my ebooks for Madden. We're going to have day one ebooks. We're going to have a ton of content within the first week of Madden 25 on our school site, school.com slash Cody Bowers, where you can check out all that content.